hello friends welcome to my youtube channel as you, you all be know, must be knowing the late pc exam uh, is uh, some days uh, uh, away only after two months only uh, the exams are there so i will be posting back to back uh, videos uh, for you people uh, so please share uh, with your uh, beloved friends whoever are there because uh, we are always uh, posting very high yield uh, this uh, mnemonics or uh, any concepts that we are giving this is uh, really all the things that are going to <coughs> come in your uh, exams only so today's topic is uh, klebsiella pneumonia so uh, i i will be presenting you uh, like a like a story so remember this guy this uh, this uh, this uh, picture is a see this uh, this is vijay malya and he is holding a kingfisher so this is your uh, an alcoholic guy and is elderly alcoholic guy is uh, more predisposition for having your uh, klebsiella pneumonia so this is uh, predisposing factors are chronic smoker chronic alcoholic and uncontrolled type 2 diabetes uh, type 2 diabetes mellitus what will happen with klebsiella pneumonia the symptoms will be similar like any other pneumonia features that is your fever your chills chest pain and productive cough so this patient who is having uh, is drinking and suppose with uh, in the drunkard state he is just asleep and he is not conscious so uh, he will aspirate the contents he will aspirate whatever the secretions are there the mucoid secretions he will take aspirate inside and uh, during the supine position whatever the secretions will directly go towards the right side as we know the trachea is slightly inclined towards the right side so it will go towards the right side and it will most likely involve the right upper lobe so in chest x ray pa view we will see this right lobe uh, upper lobe is most commonly involved and when this right upper lobe will become very heavy so this thing is also will come the uh, fissure will be bulged down so in x ray we will find two features this bulging fissure sign on x ray is seen in klebsiella pneumonia as well as this right upper lobe consolidation i i told you the why this usually alcoholic and unconscious patients and elderly alcoholic patients mostly <coughs> this is the thing they will be they won't be conscious and this uh, secretions will be aspirated into uh, the trachea then into the upper lobe so only this right upper lobe uh, pneumonia happens here so how you are going to diagnose so we will be taking the sputum culture sputum microscopy and uh, this <coughs> so culturally we will get this mucoid growth mucoid growth will be there in the culture microscopy in gram state will be seen encapsulated gram negative bacilli there will, will be a uh, clearing clearing uh, because of this capsule there will be a uh, uh, fine clearing uh, uh, around the means bacillus so there will be space around the bacillus the bacillus bacilli won't be means uh, clustered together there will be certain space left so that is you will find in the uh, gram negative uh, this in gram stain and in uh, this as this is lactose fermenter so macogi other will also turn into pink so so i hope this uh, story way of presentation is going to help you people to remember this thing so this is a very high yield topic only so that's it for today like and subscribe my channel okay and read nicely thank you